Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my recent Rainbow Melts haul. Now this was a pre-order, man I can't even remember when. I think, I think maybe January, February, March, April, May. I think you may be back from May and then this is a mystery box or mystery bag that she had. Her mystery bags are pretty affordable and you get um, you don't get like a ton, but her mystery bags, I think they're only like 25 bucks. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So I just, this is the mystery bag right here. And this is the actual things that I ordered, but let's just do the samples. So I got three samples. One of them is you're going to need a bigger boat. I love this scent so much. It is ocean breeze and sweet strawberry. And it is really good. She has a really good strawberry. I think it's very similar to vintage chic scent strawberry and like Tiffany candles and I think I can't I think those two um, so it's very similar to those those two other vendors um strawberry so it's really really good um, it's just a really good like sweet oceany scent and I love it if you've never try it, tried it you should definitely definitely give it a try the next thing I got is called sassy and this is Satsuma lollipops and fizzy pop and it smells really good um, it kind of actually reminds me of mouse ears a little bit I don't know if it's that lollipops but it does kind of it doesn't have that tart lemonade scent but that lollipops is like really really similar to the mouse ears um yeah so I think that lollipops is the dominant I don't like you could get the satsuma and stuff but yeah it's just not as tart as like mouse ears it's like a toned down version of mouse ears I guess you can say and this next one is blackberry pie. I'm not gonna take it out because I did get it in my mystery bag. So blackberry pie is the third sample that I got. So let's just start with the mystery bag here. And um, obviously when you order a mystery bag, that's exactly what it is. It is a mystery. You can't pick and choose with scents or anything. You just get what you get. So I got this bakery bag in raspberry lilac, which is ripe raspberries and sweet lilacs. Um, raspberry is, I don't know if, I don't know how I really feel about it in wax. I guess I've never hated it. And lilac is a floral scent, I believe. And I don't really care for florals, but this one smells, it smells pretty good. It does smell actually, instead of smelling like very floral, it smells really soapy to me. Like it smells like a hand soap or it just reminds me of like a soap in a restroom. Or it doesn't smell like a restroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was horrible, but it just smells kind of soapy to me so I'll try it and see how it is but yeah I got a bag full of these um, shapes so there's that and then I got sunshine cake which is yummy citrus and birthday cake I have had this one before but just a bunch of these tiny little cubes so it does smell really good um, the citrus is the strongest note for sure but it does kind of also have like a creamy citrus almost like a like an orange Julius type and then you can get a little bit of that birthday cake so a creamy citrus or I think orange Julius is what it is basically like a what are those popsicles like those popsicles with the cream on the inside there is a scent that is like super popular anyways whatever scent that is like a creamy orange scent I can't do it has to be like straight up orange or nothing at all I can't do it when it's blended like that citrusy creamy type of scent and that's kind of what this is so it's like a creamy citrus with that birthday cake but honestly the citrus note overpowers the birthday cake on cold I think on warm if I can remember correctly because it was so long ago I think on warm the birthday cake comes out a little bit more so the next one is lemon cello right and this is Sorrento lemons sugar cubes and lemon zest so I got these little uh, drops but she's gonna be offering men. So I got that and then a little sandal. And this one smells really great. This is gonna be great for like the kitchen. It's like a super tart, zesty lemon, exactly the way it sounds. Then I got this one, beachy berries, which 
is Ocean Breeze Blackberry and Strawberry. I love all three of these. So I got these snap sticks or I don't know what she called them. I think that's what she called them. Now, why is my phone doing that? It's so weird. Oh, well. okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not pressed that. And then I got a flip flop. So this one. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. You literally get a great blend of both blackberry and strawberry. And then you could get like that freshness, watery note from the ocean breeze. Oh, it is so good. You definitely have to like fruity and you have to like, like that strawberry blackberry scent, but that is so, so good. This next one is waterfall. So this is sweet jasmine, wild lilies, and violets with the enchanted mist of a cool tropical waterfall. And it is humongous. I didn't weigh it, which I should have, but I didn't. But it is huge. I can even feel it's heavy. I think Vintage Chic Sense has these in her samplers if you've had one of those. So anyways, this one smells very, very clean. Very, very clean. Almost laundry-esque type. It does have a watery note, and I think it's a little floral. Yeah, probably with the violets and the jasmine. It definitely does smell like a tad bit floral, watery, and clean. I would try this one and see how it goes. I think like laundry lovers, Not, I'm not saying it's laundry by any means. I'm just saying if you kind of like, obviously if you like laundry, then you like those fresh clean scents, then you might like that one. So this was a sample that I got and it is blackberry pie. So it's sweet blackberry, sugar, vanilla, and a hint of bakery. And they all are a bunch of these little cubes. And this smells, I mean, so freaking good. Oh, it's like, it's a sweet blackberry. It just smells like a very sweet blackberry scent. I honestly, on cold, do not get any bakery at all now that can definitely change when it's on a warm but this smells so good it just smells like a sweet juicy blackberry even though i have to say i've never had a blackberry so i don't know how blackberry smells in real life um but <laughs> in the wax form it smells incredible so this is not much but this is what i ordered where she did her pre-order in these bags, and I think they were like $6 a bag or something like that. For me, Rainbow Melts, I do get a, a good throw, so like I could cut this bunny in half and get two mouths out of the rabbit, and if it will throw great for me. Her stuff does not need a long cure time. I, I do at least a month. I mean, sometimes, obviously, like, look, I just, I haven't had this too long. It hasn't been sitting around too long, I think. I don't know, I wanna say obviously less than a month, but it's been, it's like already well cured, so I could already melt it. But um, yeah, this stuff doesn't need a crazy long cure time or anything. So this is Beachy Berries, that's the other one that I got in the mystery bag. I got it also in the pre-order. So it does come with these things. So these, I could probably cut into threes. I would cut these into threes, I'd cut these uh, candies in half and then this in half. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve melts I would get out of one bag that costs six dollars. I personally think that's an awesome deal. Twelve melts for six bucks. And then this one is Seize the Day. It is salty sea air, sweet lavender, and gooey marshmallow cream. I love this scent blend. It's really, really good. So I got a candy, a flower, and another flower thing. Then I also got one of these little deals, which I would melt all in one go. This one for sure. And then this, like I said, I would cut in threes. And this one just smells really, really good. I would say, um, if you've had Sassy Girl Aromas, it doesn't smell exactly like that one. So there is a difference. Like, you probably feel like, why are you buying the same blend? <laughs> um, it definitely doesn't smell the same. I would say you can get more of that salty sea air. Sea air and the sweet lavender. And the marshmallow cream is just kind of like... I guess it's blended in there, but I don't really smell it too much. Like, 
Sassy Girl Aroma, her marshmallow is like super strong. That one, you can mostly smell the sweet lavender is the strongest note in that one. And then the last one that I have here is Beach Bungalow. So this is Ocean Breeze, Himalayan Sea Salt, Fresh Citrus, Cucumber, Coconut Water, and Sea Moss. So I got three, I got all of these candy shapes. And this one, let me smell it from the bag. This one smells good. Now this one does smell very clean and very oceany as well. It does smell, not oceany, it does smell very watery and I think it's the cucumber. I don't, I'm really learning that I really do not care for cucumber and wax and this just really kind of like confirms it for me. There are a lot of other things in this blend but that cucumber just stands out the most. It just makes it like super, I don't know what it is because Cucumber to me doesn't smell like this in real life, but it's it's the cucumber is what it has to be. So yeah, um, it does have like a green note to it as well, like a slight, slight green note, but it's mostly like a watery, fresh scent with a slight, slight green note. So that is everything that I got from Rainbow Melts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, if you've never ordered from Rainbow Melts, she does have a Facebook group, she does have an Instagram, she pretty much is not that active on, um, I think she also is going to start or if she already has started a YouTube. I am not as super involved in the wax community like I used to be. Obviously you guys can tell because I like literally, literally never post videos anymore. Um, but yeah, she is not, I don't think she's that active really on, compared to other vendors, she's not really that active on any of her social medias. But if you follow her or yeah, follow her on, 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 or join her Facebook group, that's where you can get like the most up to date information. She does mostly do pre-orders. I thought I had read something a while back saying she's going to do ready to ship, like a mix of ready to ship and pre-orders, but I've yet to see that. Um, but she does have some really good wax. Her wax um, scents are really good. She has like great scent combinations, not just like basic kind of scent blends. She has like really good com uh, scent combinations and blends. Um, her wax performs, at least for me, her wax performs very well. I either get like a medium all the way to a, a high throw all the time. Most of the time it's about a medium high to high, but sometimes I get like a medium scent throw, which is still really good. Her wax does not lead a long cure time. And um, yeah, the only thing is, like I said, she's not that active on her group. Her, she does, she has been doing pre-orders more and they do take her a bit longer. So expect to, if you do order, just expect to wait a while. She does have like a turnaround time, like a, an estimated turnaround time, but you know, life happens and stuff. But if she is a one woman show, and yeah, her wax is great. I obviously, despite like having to wait a long time and stuff, I personally think it is worth it. I And her her prices are amazing. She doesn't do a flat rate shipping of like $10. So if you just get one or two things, you can pay like the seven bucks in shipping instead of having to pay like 10 50 or something just for one thing or two things. And her wax pricing is great. Okay, that's enough for Emily, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe and have a great day.